So good morning, happy Monday. It's August 30th, it's almost September. I don't know where time goes, but it's Motivation Monday. So let's start off with our daily pledge. Today is a new day. I'm ready to be the best me I can be. I will listen so I can learn. I will try hard so my brain can grow. I will not give up. I can learn anything I put my mind to. It's a new day. It's a new opportunity to work on your goals and to declutter, to maybe improve something about your mental health or improve something today about your motivation. Whatever it is, it's a new day. So let's do something, even if it's just one thing, to make the different for, to make the day different than it was yesterday or last week. Uh, but let's check in. How are you feeling on a scale of one to ten? Where are you at? Remember, even on the days that we're not visiting together, I hope that you can continue to do your check-in. Uh, this could be used even if you're at home with kids or even other loved ones. Do a little check-in every day and see where you're at. How are you feeling? If you woke up feeling really great, do something that with that. Apply the day. Apply that to the day. Uh, but if you didn't wake up feeling so good, use your toolbox. So I know there's two little girls watching us today that are going to be doing something pretty amazing. Uh, this random acts of kindness day. And so they're going to go uh, spread some love uh, around town. And that's exciting and bring a smile to everybody's face. So good luck to them. Uh, they're going to use all their motivation and energy today to bring a smile to other people's faces. So that's really cool. And if it's something that you feel compelled to do, random acts of kindness is an extraordinary way to kind of spread the cheer uh, and just good vibes and happiness and positivity. Go do something nice for somebody else today. Just randomly random acts of kindness we like that uh we try to do that around here from time to time but i know these young ladies have been waiting uh all summer to do this so good luck to them so today for motivation monday we're doing energy okay i th i thought about that this morning when i was trying to get out of bed and i didn't have very much energy <laughs> uh so what are some things that deplete our energy what is going on that makes us wake up and feel Wah, wah, wah. Uh, they say some of the things that give you bad energy or low energy are it's an unhealthy diet. We know that we are what we eat, right? It is the season for hot dish and comfort foods and all of the things that just really sound good because we don't eat them all summer long. Uh, but with that comfort food and with all of that kind of uh, junk food uh, comes low mood and low energy and it kind of bogs us down because our bodies just don't have any of that nutrients that it needs to feel good or to burn off. So an unhealthy diet contributes to low energy. Um, not drinking enough water. Again, I, like I said last week, I harp on my kids every day of the week. Drink your water, drink your water, drink your water every single day. Um, when you don't have enough water, you don't have enough energy. Your body needs that. It's a special fuel um, that you have that's natural, that, that water is fuel that's natural, uh, that can make you feel better. Not only is it good for your energy, it's good for your skin, it's good for everything. We went over the benefits of drinking water. So if you're not drinking enough water throughout the day, you need to start doing that because it has so many benefits to it. It may make you go to the bathroom every 20 minutes, but you know what? It's good for your body and it's hydrating you. Uh, the next one is you're not eating enough calories. A lot of times we don't have enough energy because people think that if they don't eat anything, then they won't have to worry about gaining weight. If you're on a diet, then you quit eating. But unfortunately, that ruins your energy levels. And so you have to like calorie count and make sure you're getting enough in your body to burn. Uh, another one is you're not sleeping properly. Remember when you're doing your check-ins, you're doing hungry, angry, lonely, tired. If you're not sleeping right, you don't have energy. You're exhausted. You're run down. You're tired. It's really hard to have any sort of motivation. Um, you sit too much. If you don't have energy, take a look at how much time you spend sitting around. I will tell you that. I know that. I understand that. When we, when I have a day of just sitting and not doing anything because I don't have any energy or I feel sleepy, it just makes it worse. Uh, sitting around just makes it worse. And last but not least, a lot of times we don't have any energy because we're stressed out, we're burnt out, we're tired out. We have too much on our plate, and so our body just starts to shut down, right? It just starts to go down, 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 and we have no energy. So those are just a few ways or reasons why you don't have enough energy. Seems pretty simple, right? Give yourself a good check over. Again, that's what we do um, every morning. Give yourself a check. Have you been eating right? Have you been sleeping right? Have you been drinking water? Have you been exercising? It's not just to keep your mental health in check. It's really just, it's a good foundation for everything. It's a well-rounded uh, way to look at yourself and to make sure that you're doing what you need to do. 
Um, if you, okay, so here's some ways. We're going to talk about ways to, to boost your energy, okay? I thought this was kind of interesting. It says, need a quick energy boost? It says, massage your ears. A two-minute massage increases neural, neural activity in the brain's cerebral cortex, reducing fatigue before 81%. Okay, this is talking about women. We're going to say it has the same effect on men, but I don't know. Simply grab each ear with your thumb and forefinger and slowly run through the tip of the lobe using circular, <laughs> circular motions, and then you'll be good to go. That's what it says. Massage your ears for two minutes, and then you're going to have tons of energy. So that's what I'm going to try this afternoon when I feel like taking a nap. I'm going to massage my ears in a circular motion up here, and that's going to give me a lot of energy. Kind of makes me feel sleepy, actually. But give it a try. Who knows? Uh, let's see here. They talk about, now I'm no health expert, never want to be a health expert. However, they say that there's 12 energy boosting foods. So we talked about diet, right? We talked about if you're not eating right, your body doesn't have what it needs to produce all that. So they say you need to eat apricots, spinach, sunflower seeds, uh, green tea, cocoa can be put into certain things, avocado, yams, broccoli, chia seeds, ginger, and wheatgrass. Now, I'm not quite sure where you get some of this. I'm sure it's probably everywhere, and I've just never really looked for it. But those are just a couple of foods. I know that I've seen dark chocolate on a few things, too. <coughs> I just point that out because I really like dark chocolate. So, I know that's on there, too. Oh, another one. Honey, apples. So, some of this you could even put in, like, your morning coffee or, like, a drink. Honey, apples, eggs, uh, sweet potatoes, salmon, oranges, bananas, oats beans, spinach, yogurt, almonds. Notice how most of these are healthy food items. It did not say potato chips. Darn it, because I really like potato chips. So fruits, vegetables, uh, like the oats and the yogurt and things like that. I think that is good. Eggs, oranges, all of those things that are just good, good for you, good for your immune system, things like that. 10 ways to boost your energy instantly. Number one, stay hydrated. Again, being hydrated can lead to fatigue, crankiness, and fogginess. So drink your water. Number two, walk around the block. Even a short walk can get your endorphins pumping. So when you need energy, they talk about exercise. And I have a whole, I have a little fact, little fact sheet on that. But exercise, get moving. I know that we hate to do that. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to exercise. But this is a walk, a nice walk around the block. That's why we started doing that on Wednesdays. Don't forget, every Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock, you can go on a small walk with me. It's just one way to kind of get you going, start getting you in that mindset and that motivation. Um, number three, spend time in the sun. A few minutes in the light can brighten your day. Again, that's that vitamin D, natural vitamin. So go sit in a chair in the sun. Uh, you don't have to sit out there forever. Don't, don't get sunburned. Put sunscreen on if you need to. But uh, natural sunlight helps boost your energy. Sipping on tea. Uh, there's some uh, green tea, black tea, things like that. There, there's a lot of health benefits between um, with tea. So sometimes just you have a cup of tea. Um, they talk about eating more mini meals. I know, like I've said before, I've, I've been to the dietitian with some folks, and so she talks about six small meals a day. Uh, and six small meals a day kind of keeps the metabolism going. It keeps you moving. It keeps everything working. Um, so obviously, there's a little bit of a, uh, some, you know, benefits to that. So if you don't eat even one meal a day, obviously there's a problem. Uh, so try and eat little meals throughout the day. Even if you're a grazer, just make sure you're watching your calories. Just try to get something in your body uh, and take a tech break. Put down your phone, shut off the TV, put down your computer, shut down your tablet. I don't care what it is, but shut it off. It zaps you. I, pro I swear it like zaps you of any, any energy that you have. I know on days... Uh, that we've spent a lot of time on telehealth or talking on the phone or being on the computer. I'm exhausted, 100% exhausted. And I think there's something to be said about us, all that stuff. So take a break from all your technolo technology. Shut it off. Um, so it says inactive people who normally complained of fatigue could increase their 20. If you start exercising. So if you're somebody who's inactive and you're always complaining about <coughs> now my throat's getting dry, now about being tired and not having motivation. If you started exercising, it says you increase your energy by 20% and decrease your fatigue by 65% by simply participating in regular low-intensity exercise, going for a walk. 
that's all you got to do. And look at that. You're going to have energy. And you're going to be less tired. And you're going to feel better. And it's going to keep you healthier. Um, ways to recharge your ener energy. They talk about grounding techniques. Remember we've talked about um, the things that you smell and taste and hear and sight and all that good stuff. Um, grounding can help you release your body of kind of just some of that negativity uh, from that environment around you. And it's going to help you feel more, more energy. If we can reduce some of those black clouds, the negativity, the drama, the problems, the stressors, ultimately our body is going to have more of an opportunity to boost its energy levels. Okay. That's why they say the next one is cutting the cord, getting rid of, rid of that negativity. You got to get rid of people <clears throat> and situations that just keep dragging you down. Get rid of them. Even if it's family, it doesn't matter. It, it's unnecessary. Um, it's going to continue to zap you of your energy. It's going to make you feel tired and bogged down and depressed and stressed and anxious. It's a whole spiral effect. So cutting the cord from the things and the people that only create problems or negativity is important. It's really going to preserve your energy. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to improve your depression. It's going to improve your anxiety. It's just, there's, there's lots of benefits to cutting the cord from things that are unnecessary in your life. Uh, protecting yourself from others is like setting boundaries, setting boundaries with yourself, especially with your eating and your exercise. You've got to start setting boundaries with yourself sometimes before you can even set boundaries with other people. You have to respect yourself enough uh, to take good care of yourself, and then sometimes those boundaries start to happen with others. Um, getting rid of the tension and loving yourself, of course. Avoiding sugar and alcohol. Good sleep, drinking lots of water, exercising often, limiting stress. <laughs> Sure, we're all going to work harder at that, right? Uh, being social, having fun. Um, health isn't a goal, it's a way of living. So being healthy uh, is one thing because ultimately being healthy or at least monitoring what you're eating and exercising and stuff like that, it's such a huge factor in your mental health. It all plays a whole role together. Um, if you guys want a good resource to check out, go to healthyyou.com. It's H E A L T H I E yoo.com uh, it's a blog and they have lots of great tips on there not only health tips but now they got mental health tips uh, but it just kind of gives you something to think about they're short blogs of easy to read uh, tips um, so again it's healthy you ie on the healthy yoo.com it has lots of great tips for you just to read about health tips energy tips, exercise tips, mental health tips. It's free. It's simple. It's easy. Um, but I always like to try and find some resources. Don't forget you can go to NAMI.org uh, to find different things too. SAMHSA. Um, there's lots of different uh, websites out there. You can find different ways to take better care of yourself and to improve your energy and manage your mental health. You know, as we continue to go into the fall and winter months, this is really important. As people continue to, you know, obviously we know that uh, people are getting sick, you know, things are kind of on the rise again. And so we need to be mindful of taking good care of ourselves and our immune system. And that really has a lot to do with drinking your water and exercising and reducing your stressors and keeping your energy level up and, and just monitoring yourself and taking good care of yourself. So for Motivation Monday, uh, it's about energy and boosting your energy. And today I want you to take a look at your meals and what are you eating and how often are you eating. I have many folks say that they eat one time a day. That's not going to help you feel better. Uh, take a look at uh, your, your eating patterns. Take a look at what you're eating uh, and so on and so forth. So that's your challenge for today. Make sure that you are eating right. You're boosting your energy with lots of good things. If you need to take a nap, you need some sleep, take a nap. Don't nap all day. Uh, but just really kind of evaluate yourself and where you're at. And maybe that's a good indicator of why your energy levels are low. So happy Monday. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you tomorrow morning.